Hey, what's up, guys? So, as you've seen from our shorts, we got quite a bit of snow here, probably around, I don't know, 10 inches or so. But uh, my work decided to give us a couple days because it's pretty hazardous. So, we decided to take advantage and, you know, we got to go out and play in the snow with the side by sides a little bit. It was pretty fun. And then uh, we also had a couple of chores around the house. Like, you know, we get the animals when is this cold out there's a little extra care but they're doing amazing they're doing awesome um but one of our other projects as you've seen i was welding away but we went and i went and ordered this little tiny hone stick welder off amazon it was only 80 bucks uh to give a little backstory why i didn't buy like a nice good welder or anything like that so we rent our property and our only power to our shop is an extension cable coming off our pole and I'm not going to go and put in a bunch of money into the shop when we don't have a lease to own or know we're going to be here for a long term. So I automatically just assumed everything that I was going to use as a welder was just going to keep popping the breaker. Well, this was cheap enough. I was like, screw it. Let's give her, let's give her a shot. And uh, so I got to play with that, as you can see in the videos. And the one of the big reasons why I needed a welder is our trailer is a 20 foot trailer. And so for me to haul both of these machines at the same time, I need it to be just a tiny bit longer. Uh, so I figured, you know, if I go and buy some angle iron, if you come over here, I went and bought some angle iron, nothing special. Um, what I'm gonna do is I've got two of these baskets right here. I'm gonna weld them onto the front of the trailer and I'll have some arms coming down to support it but this should allow us another foot and a half on the end of the trailer and cause no issues. And I'll be able to crawl the front end of the side-by-side -side right into these baskets. And that should give me just enough room to load up the Kawasaki and the Can-Am at the same time, uh, which would be sweet because, you know, it'd be nice to have other people come with us. And it doesn't matter whether we're in the Kawasaki or the Can-Am swap back and forth but the fact is we'll be able to haul both of them at the same time so it's easier for friends just to you know follow us just drive their own vehicles meet up with us um or there's a lot of places that we go camping and you know it'd be nice to have both of them and there's already big groups of people there so it'd be nice just to be able to haul both of them at the same time and not you know taking multiple different trips but yeah, so a little upgrade there to the trailer so we can get content with both of these rigs out there and, you know, kind of explain where we're at with the whole YouTube thing is uh, we're, you know, we're not pros by any means. We don't know what the hell we're doing. We're just doing this for fun. Uh, most of it's just, you know, memory sake for our own stuff. But, you know, it's fun watching the numbers grow and see what you guys are interested in. So, like, we actually love seeing, like, when you guys comment stuff and, being able to interact with you guys and everything. Any of you guys who are into, you know, quads, dirt bikes, side by sides that are within, you know, northern Washington, you want to go ride or something like that. You know, we'd be down to go meet up with people and go ride and have fun. Um, but yeah, we're trying to be better. And I know a lot of the, like, my big issues is I, I, I don't, I'm not very good at talking in front of the camera. As you can see, I skip around quite a bit. Um, but so we went and ordered one of these little mics, uh, hoping that it'd make the audio a little bit better. Um, so this is kind of one of our first times really testing it. I uh, appreciate your feedback because, you know, we'd like to, like I said, we'd like to kind of grow this channel and see where it can go and, or, you know, just hit a thousand subscribers. So it's like, kind of like, wow, uh, you know, this is a sweet, we'd like to keep it going. So uh, we'd like to start putting a little bit more back into our videos and making them better. Um, the welder did awesome for an $80 welder. If any, anyone just wants to experience, you know, get started you know, practice welding, I highly suggest this. You can plug it into any household 110, you can, any generator, you can take this thing anywhere. And it's smaller than a freaking lunchbox, for crying out loud. Super easy to just pack around. And I mean, it's nothing special, but I mean, some of these beads, I mean, if you look at this, if you know anything about welding, that's not a bad little bead. I mean, for an $80 old welder, that's pretty awesome. You know, that's, if I were to see that on something I bought, I'm not mad about that. So, you know, if you want to get into welding, this is a cheap, cheap, cheap way that anyone can run in their garage. Anybody can run that in their garage. 
and just do little metal projects. So, uh, but yeah, this is the type of stuff we want to keep on filming is our adventures with the animals and you know, upgrades that we do throughout our life. If you like what you've seen so far, just you know, leave a like and subscribe and keep on watching. We'll see you guys on the next time.